Hey guys, this is going to be a sneak peek into my soon to be released complete freelancing course or the complete freelancer, I think I'm going to call it. It's almost done. It's going to have five or six templates, contract templates, initial proposal template, uh, uh, workflow templates, a few others. One of the things I'm going to teach in this course is the payment matrix. It's a fancy word for saying how do you arrange the payment structure when you're dealing with your freelance clients? Very important. So this is something you're not going to hear anywhere else. Something I uh, picked up through hard experience as a freelancer when I was a freelancer for several years. So here we go. First rule of getting paid as a freelancer is that you get some money up front. Never, never accept terms where they say, we'll only pay you when you deliver the entire website, the entire web app, the entire app, the entire mobile app, the entire Android app, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You always gotta get some money up front. Why? Because unlike uh, a piece of furniture that you sell or a computer that you would sell, you can't go and grab the computer back. You can't go and grab the couch back. You can't go get your time back once you've invested the time building the website, building the web app for your client. So you need to ensure that you're gonna get compensated for your time. So that's where the payment matrix comes into play as a freelancer. So first rule is you gotta get money up front. Second rule is what's the structure of getting money up front? You're not gonna get all the money up front. That's almost an impossibility unless you're super well established and you got a really good reputation and your clients got a lot of money. Good luck with that. I've never gotten that. So you got two options. What people will usually tell you is go 50-50. 50 when you start the contract. So you say, okay, we agree to contract. That's what you're going to get. Boom, boom, boom. We work it all out. And then here's 50% of the agreed upon price. Most of the time when you're doing freelance work, the companies are not going to want to pay you by the hour. They're going to ask you how much you charge per hour. But ultimately, they're going to want a fixed price on the, uh, on the job because small businesses, they want to control the amount of money they put out, so they want a fixed price. It's very rare that they're going to give you an open-ended you know, contract unless you've got a well-established relationship with them and you're maintaining some sort of app or website that uh, you've already built for them. Other than that, especially for new projects, they're going to want a fixed price. So keep that in mind. So you get a fixed price. Everybody's happy. you got a contract. Everybody signs. Boom, boom, boom. You get 50% up front. That's what most people tell you. You get 50% up front. And then when you deliver the final version, everybody's happy, sign off, boom, boom. You get the second payment. You get the, 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 uh, the other 50%. Hey, everybody's happy. That's not the optimum way to get paid. It's not the optimum way. So the optimum way to get paid is the 33 split. So 33 split. What is that? 33% up front. So some of you are going, why? 33% up front? Isn't 50% better? No. 33% is a split is the better option. I'll tell you why. So you do all the contract, but boom, everybody agrees on the final price. You get 33% up front. Then when you deliver the first draft, because you're going to have a couple of revisions guaranteed, you deliver the first draft of the website, or the web app, etc. basic functionality, basic draft. This first draft comes out very quickly in the development process. It's like super quick. You get that first draft out and it's in the contract. They agree to pay you the second 33%. So by the time you get the first draft done, you know, you have 66% of the money. You almost have 70% of the money. Now, why is that important that you want to get your second payment, your second 33% with the delivery of the first draft? Because the time to go from the start of the project to the first draft is usually pretty small, but the time from the first draft to the final is usually quite long. In fact, it's usually, it's almost always quite long. Why? Because from the first draft, to the final, there's gonna be a lot of back and forth between you and the client. And what you're gonna find is that most of the time, again, there's always exception, but most of the time you're gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of lag time in terms of days, weeks, months even, where you're waiting for feedback from your client. You're waiting for copy or text from the client. You're waiting for images, you're waiting for video. Or, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of back and forth and there's a lot of lag time. So would you rather wait that, that big chunk of time with half the money or with 70% of the money? You see where I'm going with this. A lot of times I've seen things break down as the project 
um, stretches out in time-wise. Meaning, what do I mean by it breaks down? Sometimes clients lose interest. Sometimes clients lose interest. If you only get paid half and you do all this work and you're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing, you're 80% of the way there, and then they decide, you know what, I don't want you to deliver a project, forget it. And then they don't pay you the second half. Then you're going to have all kinds of battles, this and that. But if you get 66% up front, as I suggested, not up front, but by the first draft, which comes real quick, then all of a sudden you got 70% of the money, almost 66%. And they're going to be very motivated, motivated, your clients. They're going to be very motivated to want to, you know, get you the final material and complete this project. There's a lot more to this, but this is just a, a preview of what my freelancer course, my complete freelancer course is going to talk about. The payment matrix is a hugely important thing. And um, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.